Jason Mercurio. <clears throat> Good evening, Jason. Good afternoon, Your Honor. How are you, young man? Good, Your Honor. What is your name? Giovanni. Giovanni? Yes. Get up here, Giovanni. <laughs> you want to help me out with this case? Yes. You promise to be honest? Yes. Who's this? Is your dad? Yes. Okay. Now, <clears throat> you're not going to give your dad any favoritism, are you? No. Okay. So we're going to take a look at a video, and we're going to decide whether or not he went through a red light, right? Yes. Okay. Now, you're not going to look at him. You're going to look just at the video, and then you and I are going to make a decision, okay? Okay. All right. Let's go. Okay. Here's your dad, and the light was red. Did you see that? Yes. And do you see the sign? Yes. What does the sign say? Can you read it? Right on red. After right on red. After stop. After stop. So that means if the light is red, you must first stop and then make a right-hand turn, okay? Yes. So we're going to look at it again, and we're going to see if he stopped before he made a right-hand turn. Did you stop? Yes, Your Honor. You stopped? <laughs> We're going to do this again. <clears throat> We're going to look at it and to see if he stopped or not, okay? Okay. All right, let's go. No. He didn't stop? No. Is he guilty? No. No. <laughs> If he did not stop, right, then you still think he's not guilty? No. Is he guilty or not guilty? No, he's not guilty. <laughs> he's not guilty? No. No. He's just a me. He's, he's, he's beating me down here. I'm like a puddle of water on the bench here, right? Okay, I know I'm not sure you really understand the question as I'm asking it, but <clears throat> you watched the video and the light was red and your dad made a right-hand turn, right? Yes. Okay. So should we find him the uh, eighty-five dollars or not? No. Why not? Because he's not guilty. <laughs> <laughs> well, <clears throat> we're gonna look at it once more. Okay. Okay. All right. Now let's go. The light is red. You see that? Yes. Did he stop? No. Was he supposed to stop? Yes. And he did not stop. No. Okay. Is he guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. <laughs> Get down there with your dad. <laughs> Inspector Carrigan, <clears throat> you want that guy in your corner. <laughs> Absolutely. Right? Well, first of all, let me tell you, he makes a great impression. He, he's very polite. Right? He is. He's very articulate. Yeah, he's a very good little boy, Your Honor. And he loves his father. He does. He loves his daddy. <laughs> No one's going to do anything wrong to his father, right? Oh, <laughs> uh, God. Well, I asked him, so I'm going to charge you $35 court course. Thank you so much, Your Honor. You just saved your father 50 bucks. Make sure he takes you out to dinner, okay? Okay. All right. Good luck. Thank you, Your Honor. Bye, Your Honor. <laughs> every year, I nominate myself for the Ziggy Quinn Father of the Year Award. And every year, I win. And that's because, one, I deserve it. And two, I'm the only one allowed to vote. However, this year, I'm considering casting my ballot for someone new, James Mercurio. Not only did he raise the most polite child to ever grace our courtroom. How are you, young man? Good, Your Honor. He's also raising the most loyal son since Simba. Did you stop? Yes, Your Honor. You stopped? <laughs> <laughs> the light is red. Do you see that? Yes. Did he stop? No. Was he supposed to stop? Yes. And he did not stop? No. Okay. Is he guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. <laughs> <laughs> well done, sir. Well done indeed. James, if you ever decide to write a guide on how to raise the perfect child, Quinn, fine literature, books, and other stuff, would be honored to publish it. Just give me a holler. <laughs>